Hi, it's Mining424 here and today I will show you how to prepare your AAP for use with Wellipo battery by installing a MOSFET. AAPs are air electric pistols. They may not be as realistic, effective or powerful as gas pistols, but they have one big advantage. They can be used at lower temperatures where traditional GBB pistols refuse to work. Especially if we buy a LiPo battery, because the battery from the set can also die if it's really cold. When deciding on going with a LiPo battery, it's also worth installing a MOSFET in the gun. It will protect the contacts against burnout and maybe slightly improve the response of the trigger. And yes, I know Sima offers pistols with the MOSFET and LiPo already mounted, but to be honest, I do not really trust that system, so I decided to use a proven solution and choose the MOSFET from Pyron Airsoft. So let's install it in my CM030. The MOSFET is very small and its installation is quite simple. It's installed on the negative cable going between the battery and the motor. As you can see, the MOSFET has soldering points marked as B-, that is the negative cable from the battery, and M-, that is the negative cable going to the motor. And it's triggered with a positive from the trigger contacts, which is soldered on the other side. So the modification in the gun will be very simple. After removing the slide, the first thing I have to do is unscrew this cover. It's held on three screws. After removing it, the wiring is visible. On the left side there is a negative going from the battery to the motor. On the right, the positive from the battery enters the trigger contact and from it goes through the second wire to the motor. To make the soldering easier, I will disassemble the base of the nozzle guide. It's held on two screws. And when removing it, be careful that the nozzle guide does not shoot back. The base itself also has a small spring on the bottom that presses the trigger pull to the contact. It is easy to lose it also. Now I can pull out the guide and the nozzle. I start by soldering the positive going from the battery to the contact directly to the positive going to the motor. This way the positive goes from the battery to the motor directly but is also pressing on the contact, which will need to activate the MOSFET. Now I will work on the negative. I have to mount the MOSFET on it, for which I have to find a place in the replica. And here it seems to be perfect. I cut the existing wiring here, but before I start assembling the MOSFET, I have to make a bit more space for it. For this all I need is a sharp box cutter, with which I will cut this element. Now it's much better. Before I mount the MOSFET in the replica, I will solder the signal wire to it. I uninstallate the wire from the kit and tin it. Now I put the tin on the preparing solder point in the circuit and solder the wire. After all, it should look something like this. Now I can measure how much wire I need. I stuff it like this, remembering that moving parts will work above it. I don't want it to interfere with the operation of the replica. Now it remains to uninsulate the wire, tin it and solder it on the contact point that we released earlier. It's time to assemble everything. I fit the MOSFET in the place where I want to install it and adjust the length of the wires to it. I cut them properly, uninsulate them and tin them. I also put tin on the soldering points on the MOSFET. Now I can solder the wires to the MOSFET. The wire from the battery is soldered to the point B- and the wire from the motor to the point M-. The MOSFET is installed. I will now reinstall the nozzle, its guide and base, and finally the cover. I put in the LiPo battery and as you can see everything works as it should. Now I can play without the fear of damaging the contacts. If you make such modifications to use dedicated LiPo batteries like the one from Electro River, you will have to charge it somehow. 
Personally, I do not recommend using such simple chargers for such small batteries. They charge with too big current and can damage small batteries like this. A better overall solution for charging batteries is a microprocessor charger such as Redox Alpha V2. But here, there is a problem. The battery should be connected to such charger with a balancer contact and a power cord. I will show you how to easily make an adapter from the original charger. We only need a power supply with an adapter from the set with a gun and TDN socket. Cut off the end with a plug from the power supply from the set and separate the ends. We need to find out what the polarity is in order not to connect the battery backwards. This will be shown in the picture on the power supply. According to it, the positive goes to the inside of the plug and the negative to the outside. Now I check with a multimeter which wire corresponds to the place on the plug. A cable with a stripe is positive and without it's the negative. Before I solder the wires to the DN socket, I cut two pieces of heat shrink. Mine is a bit too large for these wires, but because I do not have a narrower one, it will have to work. Now I put some tin on both soldering points on the TDN socket and on the wires. A small life hack, if you do not have such dirt hand to hold the plug during soldering, you can help yourself with pliers with a rubber band attached. I put a heat shrink on the stripped wire, the positive, and solder it to the transverse point in the socket. I do the same with the second wire and solder it to the second point. I can shrink the insulation with a lighter or a heat gun and our adapter is ready. As you can see, after I connect the battery to the charger, everything works as it should and my LiPo is charging properly. Now my gun is prepared to work on LiPo battery so that I can use it in the winter and I have a way how to safely charge the battery itself without fear of damaging it with a regular charger. I hope that this guide will be useful to you. I have used the AAP with a LiPo and a MOSFET for several years, so in my opinion it is worth doing such modifications. It's all for today, and now thanks for watching and see you next time!